see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists.
I'm looking for men from Undvik. Yavor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with Mary Arrest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Tartarok? He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Undvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Galmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other house. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing, before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Glad to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a welt looking to collect bumps on his skull could only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. Need to get to Undvik. Another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close. Lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them's shorter, just below the surface. So careful not to scrape right over them. Big breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Uh, oh, fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course. Dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Yalmar landed. Nice talking to you. By the time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you.
sea graves. How the islanders bury their fallen. Clan on crate. Clan on crate. Great. Clan on great. Someone dragged a litter through here.
giant tracks. I long to be home to the modest abode whose corners I roam to my dog with his pipe to my teeth to the And my blood's coursing souls. It's time, high time, I was home. I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know. Don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, dammit. You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. I had her starved to death. But I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and the crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine, then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Who were these men? My crew. They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar. Wilfred's to his right. And the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Like he did the others. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew. Aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, oh, I saw him. As did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in. Neath the red, fallen, viggy. And just between you and me... That boy is not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crate was here with his men. Oh, that? No, oh, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though.
They say where they were headed. Did they, Wilmar? Oh, hey. Aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, guarding absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Yalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it, all on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really am to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember.
Someone dragged a litter through here. Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Broken back. As if he fell from a height. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Taken by surprise, but they fought off the attack. I need more clues. Search the perimeter. Several men dragged a boat north. Two people came through here, separately. These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. smack in a necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these skelligers. Landed smack in a necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these skelligers. come back for his arrows. Necker slowed the pursuer. Necker slowed the pursuer. Archer was determined to kill him. Wonder why.
Got hit here first, but kept going. going, though he could barely walk. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. a second arrow here. Got him good this time. Now where'd that archer go? Trolls. Dragged him into the cave. Wonder if he's still alive. was wounded too.
time to end this.
Come on. Must be one of Yalmar's men. Now where'd that archer go?
something cooking over there. in something. Play me for the man, then. If I win, I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot, too. Good! Good! <laughs> no battle! First riddle. Not eat, not drink. Big E, B. Step Big E. Big E, bash! A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You all right? Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Hjalmar? Krok sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young on Krait's return. So it started already? Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him and Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about crack? 
He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled, especially since Sarah set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og, and no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar'd only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm. Sail whipped about like a rag. Finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. You smashed into the rocks. What then? Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside, and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship, then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Pharaoh steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair, in the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go.
Elmar's man. Bled to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts. They ran toward the caves. Giant chased them. Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. of it. Need to find another way. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up.
clean cut. Head probably went flying. Fought to the bitter end. Thorsten. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Rest of the crew went on. Wonder how many were left. Yalmar lost a lot of men here. Arvid and Tordorach. He was dead set on coming with us. caved in. Shot half a quiver into her.
split her in two. Near twenty of them, but no Yalmar.
Lots of old tracks. Giant must have come through here often. Know the Isle well? I've never been here before. Guess you could say I've never been fond of Clan Tudorok. In fact, no one in Arch Skellig's especially fond of them. Any clan out there Arch Skelligers are friendly with? Well, certainly wouldn't be those Brockvar cowards. They'll say it ain't so. But a hundred years back there, Jarl walked them off the battlefield just because the enemy showed in greater numbers. And Pharaoh folk are cheats and thieves. Everyone knows it. The Twirsek of Anskellig always been too big for their britches. Now, Madman Lugus's clan. They're all right. Funny. Thought they were your greatest enemies. They are. But we just can't respect the other clans. You claim Ard Skelligers don't like the people of Unvik, yet you helped them after the giant attacked. When you see of a drowning man in a storm, do you ask what clan he's from first? Point taken, I guess. But your people gave them shelter, and now you've come to kill the giant. Of course we've come. Winning back Unvik's the best way to get those folk off Ard Skellig. Let's get going.
down the mountain. Barged into the village, then kicked the gate down from the inside. Fallen! I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She staked a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. My father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a Skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt.
Hurry now! Pick up the pace! See you're rare to go. I'm telling you, plow an enormous horse, son, he is. Wonderful. I believe I finally got the bastard! Yeah. Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! I'll cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Getting colder. 
Gotta be close. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Before he wakes. Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? Thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. All right. Guess he should stay in the cage, then. Great. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now! Sir, he's mine! Let me out, quick! Shut your trap! I sat in a bloody troll cauldron with nary a murmur. Thanks, brother. I remember that. Let's get out of here. Uh, right. Just as soon as I kill him. Best him. Viggy, you daft bastard. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. 
I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. So be it. Let's get out of here. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Master Geralt, a guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the git. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Stop careful there. I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. 
If an aunt creates to wear the crown, it should be you. Because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Well, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus. We're near twins in that regard. Don't see crap. You talking to the Arles? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the Vilcarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. not to your liking this is no feast it's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins Svanrig is not gonna vie for support Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right far as I know crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes that is the tradition but not all traditions are good the Isles care should be entrusted to a single family Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king, by the grace of votes, is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Stephen, come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking? Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, naught else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. 
supports Farnrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak! Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. I will not step for this. Then come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. 
Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the trailer's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what Ever exactly killed them. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Du. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn. Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Pull yourself together, Senna. How'd they get in? <laughs> Do you know what? Hey! The gates were shut! <laughs> All right. What do we have here? Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Autrig. Shit, no more than a kid.
Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Something I've always wondered. What do you witchers do once there are no basilisks, leshens, or giants around? Eh? Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. are empty. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Sent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scents in the air coming from somewhere else in this room. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Grace, the camp we've not seen since the Red Funeral. Few had died then, but I'm a young man still a man. If this turns out to be crap, I'll trust it's Freyr or our mother. Freyr or mother, may the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr or lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn.
I know the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. Need a sea swallow of the triggers. Fair Our Lady. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Got me eye on you. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's got to flow, but so does blood. Might say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? The Hackerman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. Right behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another egg <laughs> fucking the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. God, we might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. It's a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. Bye, Gondis.
when I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I've no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. through the mead. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Look, it's him! Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. you voice that idea, but I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded... Svanrigger would have been left, the only claimant to Skellige's throne. Proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. 
and I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Bruna Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Sarah speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, who betrayed us? The clan that took you in? Good man. He's a servant to Ancreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Erner speaks true. Arnvald has served at Kaer Trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncrate lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked with a parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Bernard's right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damned castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! He stands silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. And that's what it was her doing. She shamed herself, me, the family, the clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep. And you, Berna Bran. I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains.
Werner had a lust for power, I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinate, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. Just in time. They've already started. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 during the ceremony, furious to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans, but I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Krox mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us. Quickly, so I'll want to take her to Cairn Moy. That'll be the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Iron's men. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. You all right? So-so. 
Any way you cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Die true. Suppose if it had to be so, glad it was Ceres. Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. I bet I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. But you do her good now, I think of it. We showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought it burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a half, actually. Our clans have been button heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood and battled such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. Looks to me like you're bursting with pride. <laughs> if only you knew, Wolf. Tell me, what other Yarl can boast children like mine? Shame their mother didn't live to see these. Ceres will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, we'll take up arms for her. She didn't skimp on my voice as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So I thought perhaps you might. I'll pay you, of course, and give you an excellent Gwent card. Suppose I could try. I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate. Whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. The man is probably praying in his heart for a cure. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Yes, hen as queen. She ganatu vi. Ah, girls, what can I do for you? Big 
changes afoot in the Empire? You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an Empress needs an Emperor at her side. My father will ensure the right man is chosen. Farewell. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I doubt that. Can't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian Shieldbearers or Lyrian Archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition. General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Ciri. I will, if that's what she wants. Mean to me a day time.
The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists.
The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. I stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Hello? I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you do a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? They call me Geralt. Who are you? Is that what you... I heard the ballad about this and that sorcery. What's the name? Shuck it! Y 
Yennefer. Sorceress's name is Yennefer of Vengerberg. Hey, that's it. Her eyes flashing lightning. Her heart an icy bed. Eh, uh, what did it go? Now, my mum's beer, get yourselves together, lad. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt, let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. Got nothing to fear from me. Said the boss with a gaggle of geese. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Open the door, or I'll open it myself. You try. These hinges, this lock, will withstand anything. Of course, you can always come back with a platoon of engineers, a battering rammer of a hackerman locksmith. Why the threats? We've only one cup. We'd be better to help each other than argue. All right. What do you want? I want you to find our mates. Ivo, Terence, and Gaspar. They mention all, but they're on the Isle mission. And probably, yes. Help them. Help me. Please. If anyone can find them, I know you can. This Ivo, where do I look? Edgett insisted he'd explore the cave to the east. Tried to knock it out his head, literally. Bugger wouldn't budge. Gaspard, where will I find him? He said it was defeated. Said to wait to be rescued. We had to take action before at least. He did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's there. Andy, thought I might fix it up. Need to see what the. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand.
A man! Ha, am I ever pleased to see you? I talked to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret. That... Oh, ah, ah! Dead. Damn. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. What, what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, hey, not a soul. But... Ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. You and your friends, what's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. Ooh, Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. It's a shame so many died. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy. Meaning... Oh. I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go then. Come on. 
they're, they're stronger than me, I'm so sorry. Wake up. Am I right? Right, just a wee bit longer. Get up. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Stronger than me, I'm so sorry. Up in your teeth. Wake up. Uh, I don't I don't want to go to school. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm hmm Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. This place seems safe enough. Just be sure and come back. <sighs> Make it quick, eh? Not that much to see here. the fiend.
stubby legs, too slow. One of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. friend. Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ah, you seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat.
Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalog helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. Well, he doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridan couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. At times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalok refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. 
hand in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalark opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know, he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found. And I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm, failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm -hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Kjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so you actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am, where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. 
dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eridan to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Welcome back, child. Siri! My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. Just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn it. 
It's good to see you again. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Triss, please. No, no, y you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. Fine. So, a minute, then we go, all right? This is just a little awkward. 45 seconds. Huh? We've 45 seconds left. Well, 30 now. And then we throw the gauntlet at the Wild Hunt. So I beg you, use these seconds well. Yen, I adore you. Hmm. No points for creativity. But for your candor. Time to go. You know the Wild Hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic they use. Their navigators open portals, rifts that we might count on the diamond. They also summon. Ha! You found her. Bring all your tools with you? Thought to myself, a battle approaches. Blades will need honing. Plate will need some hammering. That sort of thing. Thought right. Thanks, Sultan. Plan to top that by brewing some more of my hackam and mix. Shade's so volatile you need to glance at it to set it off like a flaming fart. Very useful during sieges. Willing to craft something for me? Of course. Provided you've a diagram. We'll talk later, Zoltan. I certainly hope this gas will work. She's one of us, Geralt. No way we'll let him take her. Esco. Greetings, Wolf. Set out alone, Vest tracked me down. Insisted on coming. I ought to give you a hiding for not asking my help. But I took it all out in Roach along the way. Ah, some old friends. What's this horse son doing here? We need him. You might have forgotten what he did. I haven't. Keep an eye on Letho. And I'll behave, I promise. Watch this murderer, and you won't be watching the enemy. Why is the Kingslayer so important? Aridon's a king, ain't he? Fuck you both. We'll stay and help. But we don't want him at our backs.
Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the Hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the Hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. Count me in, too. Always believed attack is the best defense. The Hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erdin should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss, and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss. Bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this, my Hackerman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps. 
but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. We'll need weapons that can pierce the Hunt's armor. Gotta clear the armory. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert, Geralt, and Letha will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridin can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. I'm exposing you all to danger, unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face, we'll make it. Can't help but worry. We're short on meteorite steel swords. Got enough for everyone. Here. Vesemir dug this up for you. Gnome forged blade. Crossguard's elven handiwork. Cuts through armor like butter. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Taking Letho with us. You know my opinion. Child. Didn't even do that when you were one. I like it when you smile. Come here. Everything will be all right.
see that. It's starting. Woods, now. Gonna have to thank Yen once this is all over. That spell... really something. And the invisibility. Hounds could sniff you out, so don't get too close. And you'll be visible as soon as you start fighting. Remember that. He always talk this much. Only when he's nervous. Good work with these bombs, by the way. Aim at the portals. Be precise. I'm out of Dimeridium. Yen mentioned casting the Urden at the rifts. Said the sign could seal them. They're here. Time to say hello. Slow down. Element of surprise is key. Stay hidden. Give Triss a chance to show them what she can do. Then we'll hit him. Mean to say Marigold can conjure up more than a cloud of butterflies. Lots more. Wait and see. Next time you get the feeling I'm about to piss off Marigold, make sure and knock me upside the head. Roaches pits. Couldn't have asked for anything more perfect. Are you kidding? Not that I don't trust this invisibility shit. Show me what you got.
They're regrouping. See the commander? Name's Imlarith. I remember him from back when I rode with the hunt. Damn it. Spells wing. We'll be coming visible. We're gonna try to kill him. Too risky. Pansy. What's with Marigold? Shit. You were meant to wait inside! I refuse to sit idle while you risk your lives for me. Back inside! No! Geralt gave the signal from the woods and Triss hasn't cast the spell. Damn it! All right, run to her.
large detachment approaching from the woods. We need to close the gate before they get inside. Hero! Geralt, go to Lambert now! Esco. Damn it. We agreed he'd open that gate. Hasn't done it yet. Means he'll be fine. We've got Triss to worry about now.
Yes, thanks. Things were looking shaky. We had to fall back. They tried to get in through the main gate. I'm afraid they could succeed next time. What's with Esco? We have to retreat. He's in trouble. I'm going to help him. Remember the stone I gave you. Set your ass down like you were supposed to. <laughs> Who would have saved yours then? Thank you. We have to open the gate for them. Let's open the gate! We can retreat beyond it! Fall back! You're not supposed to be out here. Too late now. They're coming in through the gaps! Time Meridian bombs. You'll find more in the crates by the walls. Sir! Hold them back! I must form a circle of vitality. We've got to close the portals. If we don't, we die.
were an unruly child. I adored that about you.
I... I was too late to help him. It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Camorhan. Avalark is weak, but alive. Triss is tending to the others. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. We'd all be dead if not for you. No, Geralt. The hunt would never have come to Kaer Morhen if I wasn't here. Bezimir's funeral. We should prepare. Yourself. No witcher's ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No. I will flee no more. Vafail. For those who remain, death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel. I'll remember your teachings always. And the sacrifice you made.
thank you. <laughs> Please. She was my ward, too. And the old should only ever stick around to help the young. You know, this hardly ends your struggle. I know. Whatever you aim to do now, remember you'll find souls willing to aid you in Skellige. Myself, Prach, his children. Thanks. I'll remember that. I shall take another look at the wounded. But I'll need to go soon. I'll leave you some medicines. Go in hell, Thermion. Till we meet again. What's on your mind? Kaer Morin. Can't imagine this place without Vesemir. I'll head down the valley soon, and find somewhere else to winter next year. Come on, it's the only home we've ever had. Stay. No, Geralt. Place has been dying a while. Last nail in the coffin today. Time we accepted that. See how I'm feeling. Thanks. Not bad. That's good. Ah, son. Horrible about Vesemir. I know you were close. Thanks. We were. Listen, far be it from me to stick my beard, but it'll no scratch an itch. So don't take this the wrong way. I want to help, whatever you decide, but to my mind, we've got to counterattack. I've got to find the hunt, Eredin, and charge at them both like a bull at a heifer. There aren't enough of us. Sure, we repelled the hunt's assault, but that was a miracle, plain and simple. Won't be so lucky next time. Forgive me, Geralt, but that's the blathering of a man who clearly can't snap out of it after a tragic loss. Drink it off. Sleep it off, whatever it takes. Just get yourself together and think things through. I'll do that, Sultan. There you are. Crying shame about Besimir. I'm sorry. Thanks for your help. I had a debt to pay. Heading straight back to Skellige? Wouldn't be right to tarry. War with the Black Ones won't wait. You can count on me, you know. Always. I know. Thanks. How are you feeling? Please. Thanks for everything. Sure. What's eating you? Do you seriously not know? Get lost. I'm done with this idiotic conversation. So? Tell me. I can say I've seen it all now. I still don't believe everything that happened. Risked your lives for me. How can I repay you? We'll think of something. Right? Definitely. What will you do? We're bound for Novigrad. To fight the next fight. If you miss us, look for us at the camp. That was tough. We managed. 
Thanks for helping. You're welcome. Would you consider staying at Kaer Morhen? It'd be nice. At least for a while, till I figure out what's next. Agreed. Do it. Zirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this, some other time. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help, and for looking after Ciri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida, and then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses, arch mistresses of magic. You mean the lodge? Many of the lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Frangilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. Don't trust the Lodge one bit, but doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Jirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Geralt, please, not now. 
By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that! See about that. <laughs> Come and get me. <laughs> You'll regret that. Good shot. You were right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. 
Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. I'll not expect the blow. How do you learn all this? Imlarith? The Sabbath? Avilach. He told me of those who chase us. Claims knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come. We shall talk on the way. Lead on. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the Defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the Ladies of the Wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the Baron thought the Ladies of the Wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the crones guest. Seem to know it well. Havelark's a good tutor. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avilok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridan's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avilok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass. 
and we'll be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I have no idea why. Avalach claims vanity is Imlaris' greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalach's student. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that way with food and drink and plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. And give us the privilege of seeing them. Sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me.
ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. Mentioned a gate. Said we wouldn't pass. Only the Chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess. The young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Valen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death, and about eight years old. Stay calm. Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council, some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. That's it. Hey. 